you know? Talk. And when and when I'm on when I'm on the tour bus, the tour bus is a whole they call it a show on wheels. So if it's a show on wheels, let's give the people a show. Mm -hmm. Two hours with Van. It's gonna be funny, it's gonna be dangerous, and we're gonna own the streets while we in the bus. Nice. You know what nice. I mean? Like make sure people have a good time. And then with the I never wanted to take one of them tours until right now. But you don't do that no more. Uh, like I don't do it anymore. I bet but look, I'm I'm proud of the fact that we were able to get the tour off the ground. But I and then with camera. This was my goal with camera. Always have a plan. This was my goal with the camera. My goal with camera was to be the antithesis of what I said, what I saw on the street. My first day on the street, celebrities walking down the street, and the paps jump out on them. They're taking pictures, right? Everybody's taking pictures, taking pictures of them. And this guy's had enough of it. And he looks back at them, he goes, how many pictures you guys gonna take? And the paps go, about 10,000, just stay still. And then they all start laughing, right? And I saw what it meant to be in that role and in that job and how people looked at you. Mm -hmm. So my thing is this, I'm there, it's not changing. The reason why I was on camera is because there was only one tour bus at the time and there weren't enough tour bus shifts to go around for the three guys that we had. So in order for me to be employed for the rest of the days of the week, they had to find another job to give me and I was not sitting in that office all day. It's not my style. So um, I decided, well, what can you do? Every single goal, every single shot I had, my goal was to make the celebrity laugh or put a smile on their face. Mm. And that always works. Blake Griffin's walking up the street. It's during the NBA lockout. TMZ desperately probably wants a soundbite on the NBA lockout. The reality is this. You have to use your mind. Is Blake Griffin going to tell us about the inner workings of the negotiation between the NBA Players Association right. and the owners? No. I'm a league basketball player. So what do I say to Blake Griffin? I'm like, look, you're not doing anything on Wednesday. Like, we need a big. So if you want to come up to LA Fitness <laughs> and, like, run with us. Period. Like, like, you come up there, like, I know you're not doing anything. And, like, me and him are walking out. And, like, as he sees that this, as he sees that this encounter is not going to be a got you moment, that this guy's just with him. Yeah. You go back and watch the clip. He starts to relax. And by the time we get to the end of the block, I say, Blake, I'm going to ask you one more time. And he says, you know what? Maybe. Big, huge clip. Send it back into the office. Everyone's like, oh, my God, he says he's going to come play on your basketball team. And clip goes everywhere. It's on Yahoo, blah, 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 blah. By talking to him like a person and not like a celebrity that I was leeching off of by just shooting the shit with him, I was able to build little reports with people and sort of de-parasite myself as much as possible. I still had to do my job, so I still had right, to ask uncomfortable right. questions sometimes about relevant news stories. yourself a little bit. I didn't want to be... Left of the norm. I didn't want to be that... There's no future in that. There's no future... And this is not to diss any of the paps because those are hardworking guys. But for me, for what I want to do, there's no future in sitting on the block like aggravating people all day. Mm. It's not gonna help me. Like we won an Academy Award last year. I had to leave TMZ and then go back into the city and be a part of the industry and not have people thinking that I was gonna tell all their secrets. And there's only a couple of ways that you get there from that point. So whatever you do, do it, but be thinking about what's next. And so that was my deal. Like that was the way that I looked at it. Just be out there in the camera, goof around, have some fun. 